kinging it. Rule your own world. What is happening, guys? We're Craig and Amy, and you are watching King It. Ball is then. <laughs> it happens every time. So in this video, we're going to show you how to get cheap flights. Now, before we go any further. This is a no bull version of how to do this because we've watched so many videos and they're like tips and tricks on how to get to save hundreds of pounds. There's no massive secrets, but we're just going to show you some ones that are so obvious that you wouldn't even think about. Yeah, just kind of things that we do really to try and get the price down. So the first thing that you need to do if you're searching for flights is use an incognito or a private searching window. Do you know what that is? I, I do, just because we used it the other day, but if I didn't, I'd have no clue. If nobody knows what that is, it's basically if you use it, then Google can't track what you're searching for. And if it does track what, say you're looking for flights to Prague or whatever, it'll know that you're searching for them. So when you go back in a search, the prices tend to go up and it's actually proven that if you use a private window, you get cheaper flights. Did you know that? So can you do that on uh, not just a MacBook, but just on a computer? Yeah, on most like browsers. So on Safari, what you do is you click file and then new private window. And then if you're using Google Chrome, you just go file new incognito window. And then look, little spy goggles. You've gone incognito. Yeah, or private and that. So... Amy's confused already. So the second tip we're going to give you is to use flight search engines. So give me one of those. Skyscanner. Do you like Skyscanner, yeah? It's always that go-to because everyone's like, you know, check other ones. But every time I try and use like Kayak or something else, Skyscanner either comes up the cheapest or it's just as cheap as the other one, so. So that's skyscanner.co.uk, yeah? Or oh, .com, yeah, wherever you're from. So before you book your time off work, you want to have a look at the flights. Have a look on Skyscanner and see which days are best because some are cheaper than others. So you've got to be flexible. The best part about Skyscanner is that there's a whole month search section, which is amazing. Because usually you'll say, oh, I've got the first or the 14th off and you'll search for those dates. But the best and the cheapest way to do it is to search for the whole month. Because sometimes there's a difference of like 500 pounds from, you know, one day to the other. And we actually saved ourselves like 600 pounds when we went to Tromso because we looked for December. Yeah, that's right and it was like 600 quid per person and then we looked in January it was a hundred pounds. 99 pounds we paid each. <laughs> was it 99 quid? It was 99 yeah. pounds. Mental. So this is the best feature ever. Click on Skyscanner, click whole month and you can search for the return, sorry, the outbound and the return flights. That's a good tip Craig. Top tip that isn't it? Yeah. So picture this Craig, you want to fly from London to Australia mate. Okay. And uh, in the middle, you have to stop. Your, your layover is in Thailand. Mm -hmm. So you should check, instead of checking what the price is from London to Australia, check what the price is from London to Thailand and then from Thailand to Australia. You could be saving yourselves lots of monies. So when you say Thailand and Australia, do you mean like Bangkok and Sydney? Uh, not necessarily, because if you're flexible with <laughs> airports true. also, that can make it cheaper. You think you're your cocky little shit, <laughs> in you? <laughs> <laughs> it is true. So what you do is if you say you're going to search like London to Sydney and it comes up with a stopover, it might be Bangkok, it might be somewhere else, it might be Dubai. But if that price is like say £600, it's worth checking what a one way to Dubai and then one way to Sydney and then back. And then just compare the flights because it might be cheaper. Like Amy mentioned, the other thing to do is to search for different airports. So don't just stick to yours. Sometimes we've traveled on buses to different airports in the UK just to save ourselves a few hundred pounds. So don't be like, right, I live close to Manchester airport, so I'm only flying from there. If you can save yourself 300 quid and get a 20 pound bus to, to Liverpool. Yeah, buses are always cheaper, aren't they? We can get yeah. like a pound mega bus up to London sometimes, and it is a bit more traveling, obviously. But if you want to save that money, if you're a budget backpacker like us, well, we're not. We spend way too much money when we get them. We're like, we all need to have luxury. When really we've got like a pound to spend on a night stay. So search the airports for close to where you live and also search airports. So what I did when I went to Australia was I was I wanted to go to Sydney and travel up the east coast, but it was cheaper to fly to Cairns right at the top. So instead of going south to north, I would I just went north to south. So sometimes you can like change your trip up based on where's cheaper to fly to. Yeah, cool. On. And yeah, if you're doing like an around the world trip, we use STA. They obviously can plot your route for you, help you decide where's where. 
We kind of do it all ourselves though, don't we? Yeah. We find that that's like the most exciting part about planning a trip is you physically planning it yourself, you know? Australia's close to New Zealand, so I'll do New Zealand after Australia, la la la. And uh, yeah, I think people find that hard to do, but you just take your time, I love it. Cheers, drive. <laughs> the other tip we've got is to sign up to airline websites. So you can actually sign up for deals, they'll send you like discount codes and things like that. And if you're going to the Philippines especially, this is just one example, but they use Cebu Pacific Airlines and sometimes the deals are absurd. You can get like a one-way flight for like 10 quid. Yeah, they're like internal flights, isn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So sign up to websites. We were going to say about earning points and, and earning miles, but we haven't figured out how to do that yet. So when we know, we'll let you know. So uh, link us, <laughs> tag us in your uh, videos if you know how to gain miles and use them on flights. <laughs> so yeah, we do know that if you do do it and you build up your points, you can end up flying business class for free a lot of the time. Oh, so, what about uh, the, um, do that. what Hannah and Nick just did? Oh yeah, that's a good point. There's a new thing now, I think it's been around for a while, but it's called Bid Upgrade. So if you're flying with an airline, they'll do this thing where you can bid to get upgraded to first class. And depending on how many people bid and how much you put in, you can get like an upgrade for like a hundred quid each. Yeah. For like a five grand yeah. flight. Our friend Salt and I here, Hannah and Nick, they just did it. And uh, I guess we didn't know about it. I don't know if you guys know about it, but that's what makes it great then because not many people know about it, so they won't bid. Yeah. So you don't have to put in too much money to actually bid to upgrade. So that, that could be really cool. And you end up in business class. Ooh, we've only had it once, haven't we? We know, did twice. have it. Did we have it twice? I had it once when I broke my neck. And then we had it once when uh, Amy had to make a wish to New York. Yeah, that We was... had it both ways, didn't we? No. Oh. We were delayed the first day. We delayed the first time oh, for like yeah. seven days. That was the best time ever. Business class is the one, mate. Yeah. And the last thing that I've just found, I've been doing some research this morning, I found a website called secretflyin.com. And this website gives you the cheapest flight deals online. And it's, it's pretty addictive. So you go on there and it'll, you can click your airport, say it's London, and then it'll show you like all the cheapest flights throughout the year. So Amazing, so you could up. just pick where you want to go. Yeah. Oh, it might just give you a new idea, like somewhere you've never heard. I saw a flight earlier, right? Where are we going? Return to Nairobi. Nairobi? 327 quid. How good is that? Right then, I will do that for October, is it? I'm up for that. Lovely. So that is it for our flight tips. Hopefully you can get some cheap ones now. We work off commission, so whatever you say, if you have to send it to us. Yeah, and if you've got any questions, which I'm sure you have, about anything, just drop us a line, kingnet100.gmail.com, and we'll see if we can help you out. I love how you just went, yeah, that's that's what happens. What happens? <laughs> People are just going to send us the money they save. <laughs> I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> you just remember that. <laughs> no, but um, obviously, if you're going on holiday, have a great time. We love to see people traveling, don't we? Especially when they say to us, oh, we went to, you know, uh, where have we been? Bruggers. No. Brug. Yeah, is that, is that spelled wrong or is that actually a place? <laughs> I never went, but it, it is from a place. It's Bruges, isn't it? Anyway, when people are like, oh, I've been to the Philippines because you recommended it. It makes us cry. It just makes us so emotional. We, we can't believe it, can we? It's mad. Especially when people take our merchandise as well and they send us pictures with the king in it crown and they're just in like Thailand. I just love it. So if you're going away and if you bought something from us, thank you so much yeah, for supporting thanks, our guys. channel. And uh, send us a picture so we can put it on Instagram or Twitter and stuff. Yeah, we love it. So if you're brand spanking new and you've just found this video, thanks for watching. Make sure you press subscribe. We're going to Bali soon if you haven't mentioned it already. And make sure you press the little bell so you get a notification when That's we right. a new one. That's right. And yeah, if you're not new guys, then thank you so much for sticking with us. We bloody love you. We love it when you all comment. So give us a little comment down below. Let us know who you are, where you're from. And uh, always remember, wherever you are, whoever you are, rule your own world. One, two, three. Bye.